Welcome in, everybody. <clears throat> Everyone, please spam those likes, guys. Keep double tapping that screen. Share the live with a couple of friends, guys. Everyone here, please share the live with a couple of friends. Share the live right now with a couple of friends. I do not think I'm a bamboo, J-Rim. Thank you for the share, J-Rim. What's going on, Dog Prophet? Just making sure. <laughs> nope, not a tadpole. Nope. What's up, Diver Life? How you doing? Yeah, me too, JRM. Me too. Everybody, please spam those likes, guys. Keep spamming those likes. Everyone share the live with a couple of friends, everybody, please. You guys like my shirt? It says, freedom is my second favorite F word. <laughs> How's it going, man? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? What's Good, the God God is not merciful, so what's the what's your consensus? What what made you come to this decision? Are you uh, um are you atheist, agnostic? Yeah, I'm an agnostic atheist, yeah. Okay, okay. Um I I don't think God is merciful because of all the stories in the Bible, his behavior in the Bible. Um he condones slavery, he commands genocide, infanticide. Um right. You know, he commands young virgin girls to be captured, um, stuff like that. So that doesn't seem very merciful to me. But right. can you change? But, you know, I'm willing to have my mind changed. So. Right. Um, I can understand from the perspective. And I assume you're you're most likely talking about in Samuel uh, 1, 3, at least where he entered the town, commanded. I or, mean, genocide, he flooded the entire earth. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, First Samuel fifteen three, Leviticus twenty thirteen. He advocates for murder. Um, Numbers thirty one seventeen. He c commands soldiers to capture young virgin girls. Um, Deuteronomy right. twenty five. There's a story in Deuteronomy twenty five where he commands that if a if a if a man is being attacked and if the man's wife comes out and rescue and defends her husband. And if she grabs the attacker by the genitals, that you must chop her hand off and show her no mercy. And what you're, I mean, are you, you're referring to none of this is, uh, would be New Testament. None of this well, the correct. slavery, the slavery is in, is in the New Testament, but, uh, it, th that's, that point is irrelevant to me because your, right. your God's morality never changes. So, and also if you believe right. Jesus, if you believe Jesus is God, then, uh, we could just, I could just easily say that Jesus commands all of these things. Right. Uh, and that's, uh, I mean, I, <laughs> your buddy took my breath away. I, I, I have many things, you know, I, I would say from the standpoint of most of these things we're talking about, um, it does, if, you, if you've read the Bible in full, it does say there's a change in the law, in Moses' law, between the, between, so if you're talking about, it is the same God, but if you're talking about in the time period of Old Testament God, where the world is under Moses' law, and it's people know this it's written on man's heart is what it says well e even if even if the law has changed your god still at one point did all these things right but at one point I so mean, he's not merciful he he did some terrible right. things and right. um also so, the bible says that the law will not fall away until every single prophecy or the one not one letter of the law will change until the heavens and the earth pass away 
Jesus, Jesus said that. Jesus said, don't think I've come to fulfill the law. Not one letter of the law will, will change until the heavens and the earth pass away. And that hasn't happened yet. So what did change was that what was that before Jesus, there was there was only the spirit. If, if you before Jesus, didn't, there was didn't only the Holy Spirit come after Jesus died? All right. I guess there was just God. I, I guess I don't know how to put it in the general sense of explaining it well enough, but like the Trinity didn't come about until Jesus arose pretty much. And, and the, the loving, caring, uh, longing for a relationship part of what most Christians would call Christianity today didn't arise until Jesus came because Jesus not necessarily erased the laws, but he almost added new ones saying, if you follow me, I'll, he added more loving laws. And I'm not saying at one point, um, uh, the God in Christianity, the, I'm not saying at one point, they weren't merciful, but at one point, you know, at one point, I, at one point I've been a terrible person. At one point I've done rituals and I've done terrible things and today I'm a completely different man. I'm a changed man. So so none of this me, so so none, today, none of this is going to be none of this is going to be convincing in me to change my mind about how if God is merciful or not. Right. None of what you're saying is going to is going to be convincing to change my mind. So then I would say your mind you're 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 proclaiming almost that you're willing to be changed but it, at, at heart you want to stick to this. Well, what have you told me? What do you What do you think that What do you think is the best thing that you have told me that would convince me to change my mind? Uh, that that yeah, that merciful. I guess merciful is not the correct term. You can make an argument that God is not all good, maybe in a sense at a at a time or in a in a, in a time period of man what did things, but. To say he's not merciful now when he, I mean, well, he, I guess he's, he's 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 not because if Jesus is God, then well, Jesus. I'm willing is, to be convinced too. I'm willing for understand. So please explain. Yeah. If Jesus is God, then that means he's the God of the Old Testament, correct? Yeah, and I understand. That's so. That I means Jesus. Discretion. Jesus is not merciful, and I don't know if you necessarily hold the position that God is merciful or not, but. If you do believe that God is merciful, I'd like you to try to change my mind to into thinking right. that God is merciful. So, right, okay. nothing, nothing that you have said so far is going to be convincing to me. Right, I understand that. Maybe someone can get on here that has a better perspective than I can give. Okay, but I appreciate. It. I appreciate the time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. <clears throat> Keep spamming those likes, guys. Please keep spamming the likes. Everyone, share the live, please, with a couple of friends right now. Um, if you wouldn't mind, please share in the live. Hey, what's up, Tammy? Um, the more likes, the more shares we get, the more guest requests we can get. I had a guest, but the guest dropped out. Um, Cog, Cog, if you want to send another request, Cog, um, I tried to add you, but um, you dropped out. So, oh, there he is. Hey, bro, how you doing? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing well. I heard you were speaking to the guy, and you were saying that God. You're real. You're real muffled, sir. You're real muffled. Can you hear me better? No. Like I don't yeah. know if you have your hand over your mic or. Let me. I have AirPods. Let me try to. Uh, let me try yeah, to... just you. Just use your regular. Uh, just use your speaker and microphone on your phone, please. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, much better. Uh, okay, so what I was saying was, um, I heard you were speaking to the guy about being merciful and you were looking at things within the word of God, um, about being merciful, things of that nature. I don't have all the scriptures regarding slavery, at least, um, but, but slavery was, was mostly, um, for, for those who were voluntarily being indigent servants so they can pay after debt. And then that's, for, that's wrong. That's um, wrong. That's, there, that's, there's, there's that's definitely, wrong. that's definitely where scripture. There, yes, there so, is. Some so there's, yeah. So there's there two different types. In there. 
yeah, yeah. There's some slavery there. Was a garden there? Yes. Yeah. There's and two the different other, types of slavery. Hold on, hold on. There, there's two. There's there's two different types of slavery. There's indentured servitude, which only applies to your fellow Hebrew slaves. Like your fellow Hebrew slave could sell himself to you to pay off a debt, right? But there's correct. also chattel slavery, where right. you can go. God God allows you to go. The Israelites to go outside of Israel to the other nations and get slaves and own them for life, and you can pass now, them on now, to your children. Now speaking of now speaking of that part right there, there was something um, I had. I, I can't remember right now. So I mean, right now I can say I don't know because I, I do have the the information. But I mean, I, I can't. I would have to lead the law for me to go get the information because I have it, but it, I don't what, have it with what, me right now. What information but, um, are you talking about? Speaking of that type of slavery that you're thinking of, was ch shadow slavery. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Leviticus. Yes, Leviticus twenty five. Yeah, I know it's what, yeah, what you're speaking of, but I have like some details, you know, along with it, you know, that that you know I have. Uh, but I mean, just going past that. What, what kind of details? What do you mean? It's basically speaking of how, he, like, with the pagan nations that they have that they brought in as slaveries, as slaves and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Like, as you said, that God allowed them to go get slaves. It, I have more details on that, basically. Yeah, so but, that's I mean, why I have a problem. Said, I that's why I have a problem because God 1000% condoned slavery. He, he absolutely failed to condemn it. But not, no, not in that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, I said, if I had the information, it'd be better for me to, you know, help you understand regarding that. But regarding everything else, um, I know you said about killing the firstborn and, and the flood and things of that nature you said he wasn't merciful but he was he had gave them he has, he has given those people time and time and time to you know he gave repent. he gave babies time those babies those okay so let me explain that right there for let me explain that for you let me ask you a question really quick if you were a baby at that time right and he wound up every man right adult that can take accountable of themselves right and left the babies there who would raise those children well, the, the the reason that those babies don't have nobody to raise is because God commanded them to be killed. But but so do you God, do you know why? But do you know why he, he commanded them to die though? Um, because he believed they were evil and wicked. I mean, I mean, you don't say believe they were. It's not, it's not he believed they well, were. Couldn't he have commanded his soldiers to? Couldn't he have commanded his soldiers to adopt the children into the nation of Israel as opposed to just unaliving them? Okay, so do you, uh, you do really? Oh, hey, hey, do you do realize right that? That the Israel they shouldn't come until after that, right? No, these are the Israelites doing this. No, 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 no. Do you no, no, no? Those, those are the like. This is before. Right. This is before, there's floods before the the Israelites. You know that, right? The nation, the nation of Israel was born. You, you do realize? Oh, you're that, talking right? about the flood. You're talking about when God drowned. I'm babies. talking about the flood. Yes, I'm talking about the flood. What, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I, I don't. I'm talking about First Samuel fifteen three, where God commands Saul's army to go and uh, unalive the Amalekite babies. The Amalekites, because the Amalekites raised their hand against God's fit hand. They, they, the they, babies. They, 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 the they, babies? they started war against God. The babies right? did. Who the baby? No, I didn't say the babies. No, 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 yeah, no. That's my no. issue. Like I can understand if like like the Amalekites were attacking the Israelites and if it was self defense. I understand that, but I have a problem with God commanding that little babies and infants have their heads chopped off by swords. That's, that is God's not, that's, that's was, not merciful was, to me. It was for a reason, and li not not only that. Who that's, says who said who says those children? That's not going to be convincing. That's not going to change my but, mind. I, I understand that, but what I'm saying is, who who says those children aren't in heaven? Um. Well, I mean, can you prove that? I mean, yes, a hundred percent. If you're not accountable, if they're not accountable of their sin. They, they they can't sin. There's no accountability they have for sin. So they're a hundred percent in heaven. Yes. Well, how do you know that though? Is that is that biblical? That is that is a hundred percent biblical. You see, you don't see, you won't see any baby go to hell for no reason. That this is well, not happening. Well, didn't well, before God even made those babies, didn't He know that He was going to have to command soldiers to to unalive them? You said say that again. Before God even made those babies, didn't God know he was going to have to command soldiers to unalive them? In the way, no, in the way of this situation, no, because you, now you're looking at it was as you think God just knows I'm going to go murder someone in this day. No, I'm sorry. Well, I'm so saying, I'm so God's not all, so God's not all knowing. He is all, he is all knowing. But what so I'm if God is, is all knowing, then he knew that he was going to have to send soldiers to go and unalive those babies. But do you know the reasoning behind that, though? Do you understand that? Do you because know he's not merciful. That? Because he's not merciful. You can't say he's not merciful. You got. You got. How is it? How that. is it merciful? To, merciful. How is it? Wouldn't have been more merciful to command his soldiers to adopt the babies into the nation of Israel as opposed to having their heads chopped off. No, that's not the case at all. Because that I can't be adopted into the nation of Israel. You understand that? Well, that like, so Israel God can't. Like, God can't Malachi. command. So God can't command his soldiers to adopt the babies into the nation of Israel. That's, but that's not what his plan was. That's not his. That's not his plan. Do you understand right. that? So that would have been more merciful, though, right? 
No, I would, you can't. You can't say it'd be more merciful because oh, so it's not, more merciful cannot, to. So it's more no, merciful. No, I'm not. I'm not saying hold on, that. What I'm hold saying on, is, Cog. Hold on. You're saying that it's more merciful for these babies to have their heads chopped off as opposed to God commanding His soldiers to adopt them into the nation of Israel. Well, which saying, one's, no, which one's more merciful? Is it more merciful to chop their heads off, or is it more merciful to adopt them into the nation of Israel? In our, in our eyes, 100, percent it's more merciful to adopt the, the children to the Israelite family. But again, so, so guys, when God, so do you think it's more merciful for God to command that they be unalived than it is for God see, to? But, but listen, so listen to what I'm saying. That you can have you to answer my question. I, I just, I just told you. I said yes. It's more no. merciful for you to be, be adopted into the Israelite family. Yes. I, yeah, I said so, that. so why do you disagree with God's with God morality? With why do you disagree with God morally? Then, like you're saying, you I, do, I don't because you have to understand. Oh, so you, getting, so you think it's good that God commanded those babies to be unalived. You're not you're not listening to this way, you know, because now you're trying to throw words. Let me explain it. This well, way. do you disagree because, with it or do you agree with it? Do I agree with what God did? hundred percent. I agree with whatever God has done. Yeah, that's, 100%. that's you, you agree with everything God's whatever, done. Everything. Whatever God has done, I agree with hundred percent. So so every command from God is, is good. Every and righteous. command from God. I can, listen, every command God has done. It was for a reason. So every every single command from God is good and righteous. Every single command from God, yes, because God is righteous and true. Yes. Would you, would you always follow God's commands because they uh, are good and righteous? Times. At all, at every time. So times. so so if God commanded you to go to your neighbor's house and unalive their children, you would. He do wouldn't it. command me to do that though. But he's right? already done it. He's already done but it. He, he he's never commanded me to do that. So though, so, you can't, so but you can't God. Say that. But don't sit there and act like God's not capable of making that command. He's already done but it. He, he won't. He won't. Though that's the point. But how you do you know that? that? How do you know because, that? Because we now live in a new covenant, sir. You, you no, that? your God's your God's morality doesn't change. No, it, I God, didn't say his your God never I changed. I never say. I never said his morality changed. Though. So like not, when, when your God when your God commanded when when your God commanded his soldiers to go to the neighboring Amalekites and unalive their babies. Stop saying no, no, no. No, saying neighboring Amalekites. No, those are wicked people that were against God. They, they were. 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 They were the neighboring they were, nation. They were enemies of God, sir. Uh, they were again. the neighboring nation of Israel. Again, they were. They, they were enemies of. They were the enemies of Israel. It don't matter what okay. nation they are. Okay. They're enemies of okay. God. Okay. So a, what, what okay. Is the point. All right. So when God commanded, hold but on, hold on, a, okay, hold on, sir. When God commanded his soldiers to go over to his enemies mm -hmm. and unalive their babies, that was a good mm -hmm. and righteous command, right? Everything, it was for a reason. And, you would, reason and you would always follow. Everything? Hold on. What? What? And I, you I, would I, I, and you would always follow God's good and righteous commands, correct? hundred percent. hundred percent. So if God commanded you to go over to his enemies and unalive their babies, you would do it. I'm sorry? If God commanded you to go to his enemy's house... And unalive their children, you would follow it because that's a good and righteous command. Oh, destroy, destroying Satan's demons, a hundred percent every time. Yes. So, so you're a Christian. 100%. You're, you're a Christian. A hundred percent. Yes. And you, listen, you, listen, would, listen, listen, you would bro. follow God's command to go and unalive babies. Listen, but listen to what you're saying right now. The stuff that you're saying doesn't. It can't. Can you just say? Can it, you say? At all. Can you that, say that, my that, name? Can, hold on. Can you say my name is Cog and I'm a Christian? And if God commanded me, I would go and unalive babies. My name is Cog. If God told me to disintegrate and destroy his enemy, I would 100%. Dude, you're dangerous. You're, you're I'm dangerous. Not, you're you not are. Even let me, can, I, can you let me explain? Sir, can you because, let me explain? Because, sir, though? if all it would take, if you just heard a voice in your head that you were convinced 100% that it was God telling you to go and unalive somebody, you would do it. Can you let, can you let me explain it, though? You are, you are dangerous. Can you can you allow me to explain everything? You you, under, you're do you understand I'm, that? I'm, I'm, you, about explain it, I'm about to explain it to you why I say what I say. Do right? you understand yes. that your neighbors are in danger right now because they live next to you? No, no, they're not. Can I explain yeah, it to you? They bro? are. Can I explain because, it to you? Because, all, because, because if you heard a little voice, listen, 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 bro. If this you is heard a problem. voice in your head that you were one hundred percent convinced that it was God speaking to you, telling you to unalive people, you would follow it. Okay, so skip. So you're skip, dangerous. Can I, can I, you're can dangerous. I explain it to you. This can is why Christianity is a red flag. This is why Christianity no, no, it's not. is no, bad no, it's not. for society. Can I, can I can I explain it to you though? Can I explain Christianity everything? Christianity is bad because you, okay, you're making yeah. you're making up a fake doctrine to go against Christians with. That's what you're doing. So before you explain yourself, can you just repeat yourself? Mm -hmm. My name is Cog, and if God told my me name to, is Cog, if God told me to destroy his enemies, I would do it so with a grin. Even I'm babies, even babies. I'm the, I'm the, the, demon, the demons that have babies will, will be destroyed. You would <laughs> go and unalive babies. 
that are demons. Yes, a hundred percent. Okay, okay, go ahead. Now you okay. would go now, so now explain, explain yourself. Explain, explain why you would unalive babies. This is, this is explain it to you. This is the problem with a lot of atheists that try to come at against God. Little do you know, the the Bible is more of spiritual than in the physical, right? So as I said before, those things that happen in the Old Testament, they were for a reason, right? And then you go into the New Testament, right? A lot of things that you're that you're speaking of, his enemy, his only enemy is Satan. Wait, right? wait, wait, wait. So if he are you saying are you saying that the Amalekites? Babies were demons and not actual no, human I, beings. No, that's not. That's not what I'm saying at all. I've never. That's not what I said at all. No. So, so what do you mean when? What do you mean when you say that it's spiritual? When I say it's spiritual, right? The word of God is spiritual. Everything in that is spiritual, right? So when I say this, I'm saying the Old Testament, right? It is. It's. It's just uh, how do you say? It? I think it's the guy. I know the guy I was listening to. He say it's, it's a foreshadow of of what is now new, right? Which is the new. Te which is the New Testament. Was what is the new covenant, right? I'm gonna be honest. You're not doing right. a good a good job of cha uh, convincing me to change my mind that God is merciful. I mean, you keep cutting me off to help me help you explain it. Help me uh, explain everything to you. Right? I'm just. You're just so not this, making this, any sense. So can I help you? That's what I'm saying. You keep cutting. You kept cutting me off at first. I couldn't even say anything, right? So this is the point of the situation, right? God, God is is all spiritual. Everything is spiritual. Yes, He has the same morals. His morals are true and righteous, a hundred percent. In this new covenant, you're saying He's not merciful. Is Leviticus twenty thirteen righteous? Let me, let me give you. Let me give you. You keep bringing up the old. You you bring up old covenant. We're in the new covenant. Well, so because you're, you're, but your God, your but God not, never changes. But you say you're gonna let me explain it. Can I explain it? But your God never changes. He doesn't change hundred percent at all. Right. He doesn't. So so if it whatever doesn't. whatever God but so. Said, Whatever God thinks is morally, whatever God thinks is morally permissible then is morally permissible now because his morality never changes, right? So that's, that's is, the morality. So that's his morality. Is Leviticus twenty thirteen righteous? Does that have to do with what does it have to do with the you're talking about you're talking about what God has planned it's for a reason you don't know that reason right is, you, is you Leviticus no 2013 righteous is that righteous you're speaking of you don't know of his reasoning for everything that's what I'm trying that's what I'm trying to explain to you can you let me can you allow me to explain everything though I'd like you to I'd this, like you to answer if Leviticus 2013 is righteous or not what is what does Leviticus 2013 say sir it says the unalive gay people it says the unalive gay people it's yes. no read the exact verse for me Okay, it says, if a man has sexual relations with another man, as one mm -hmm. does with a woman, they have mm -hmm. committed a terrible sin. Mm -hmm. They must be put to death. They are responsible for their own death. All right, now, now since you read that, go read Romans six twenty three for me, brother. So is that righteous? Go read Romans six twenty three for me. Is that righteous, sir? Uh, yeah, the, the wages of sin is death, right? So now go so, read Romans six twenty three. So when God commands that gay people be unalive, that's righteous. Go, but you're not li okay. Listen to what I'm saying. Go read Romans why, six. Why can't the fact that you won't say no is a red flag? I, I, no, it, it, let me tell you why. It, it is righteous. Let me tell you why it is righteous. Because even so, if, you're if homophobic. You're so you're homophobic. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. You're trying to put that in my mouth. No, that's well, not what I'm saying. So at all. is it righteous for God to, to command? You? Is it righteous for God to command that gay people be unalive? I didn't say no. That's not the case at all. You're not listening to the situation. Is that a righteous command? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Yes, his, all his commands are righteous. So you're homophobic. You're what I'm saying. So you're so no, you're, so no, you're, you're not, outing yourself. Like, and this you, is going on YouTube. Why are you trying to run away from the question I'm asking you to read? Can you read this, Romans? This is going on YouTube. Everybody, oh, uh, go, subscribe yes. to my YouTube yes. in the bio. Can you I post can my you full please, streams? Okay, so now so now I'm gonna debunk your thing. Go read Romans six twenty three. Can you do that for me? What's it say? You go read. No, I want you go read. Pull it up. You have no, the not, Bible. No, you have to come with your own scripture. I, I came with my scriptures. You have, have to come with your own scriptures. The, the wages of sin is death, but because of the every because single of the sin, of, every single sin, the wages of sin so, is death. So every if you steal, one. if you steal, God commands you to be put to death. That's the wages of sin. That's the wages. Does, that's the point. Does that's God command you to be put to death for stealing? That's the. You're not listening. Can I finish? You're saying every sin is is every every uh, punishment for sin is death, but that's not true. You're saying every every punishment for sin is death, but that's not true. Only certain sins are punishable by death. We can't hear you or see you. <laughs> Dude's a homophobe. He's homophobic. He said it was righteous for God to command that gay people be put to death. This is your this is your Christian morality, guys. This is your morality on Christianity. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to take a call. So not no, not every not sin. Okay, listen. Not every yes, sin is punishable. Sin is death. Sir, not every sin is punishable by death. Yes, it is. That's 100%. So show me the verse. Show me the verse where you must be put to death for stealing. 
Go to Romans six twenty three. Show I'm me the you what no. It says. Listen. Go to Romans six. I'm I'm I'm, tell, I'm telling you the verse, and you're not. There are it. certain verses. Listen, there are certain oh, sins where listen, there sins. are. Sir, there are certain sins where God commands you to be put to death for doing, right? Brother, walking, like, listen, like listen, working listen, on this. Hold on. Listen uh -huh. to me. Working mm -hmm. on the Sabbath is a sin that's punishable by death. You must be put to death for working on the Sabbath, right? right. If, you're, if, you're, if you're caught having sex with another man, you must right. be put to death. If right. you're caught stealing, you're right. not to be put to death for stealing. Yes. Yes. No. Show me the yes. verse. It says, yes. show me the verse. You're not, see, not, now you're, it's, it's, let, me, let me ask you a question. Is stealing a sin? No, I don't believe in sin. According, uh, no, according to the word of God that, that I'm looking at right now. According I don't, to the Bible, I don't, what do I care about uh, God's word? I don't believe he exists. Okay, according to the Bible, it's stealing a sin. I don't sin. I don't sin. I'm not a sinner. I, no, I'm asking, bro, you're asking, I'm talking about, you're talking about your opinion. I'm speaking of the Bible. Whatever the Bible says, does the Bible say it's a sin to steal? Yeah, the Bible it's says a, it's a okay, sin to steal. So yeah. again, you're not well, listening. It doesn't you're say, you're, it doesn't to, say to put okay, you to this, death for stealing. This is, how, this, is, this is how I debunk these, you know. This it, is how doesn't, I debunk it doesn't say to put you to death for stealing. Yeah, listen, I it promise It does not you. say to put you to death yeah. for stealing. You're not, listen, I'm about, you're not listening. You're not trying to listen. I want to you to give me the verse for the claim you just made. Why are you running? Why are you running from it? Go to Romans 6. No, because you made a claim. You made a claim. Romans 6, 23. Go read it. Okay, I'm going to read it. And if this verse doesn't say, if this verse does not say, hold on. Okay, if this verse does not say that you must be put to death for stealing i'm going to kick you i'm going to drop you from the live okay now what is it what is it give me just a moment romans 6 23 what did it say romans romans 6 23 it's either 23 or 25 this, said, okay now this verse this verse better say that if you steal you must be put to death it's gonna say no it's gonna say the wages of no sin i want the no death. listen you made a claim is you sin claimed is sin, sin of every sin Cog, you claim that. that stealing, if you steal, you must be put to death. And I'm asking you for the verse. I'm Give telling the verse. you that if it's not, if it's not in the Bible, you're just making shit up. All sin is the wages. It all sin is, is, is punishable of death. Yes, 100%. Go read it. It's right there in your face. You're trying to not to read it, and you're trying to make it uncomprehendable because you're trying to put it in your own way. Is, is every way sin, God. is every That's sin. The That's the uh, problem. Okay, why? let me ask you this. Is every mm -hmm. sin punishable by immediate death? It's, oh no no it says the wages of sin is okay that, that, okay either. okay now either. now why does why does and then leviticus 2013 oh, why does god brother, say in leviticus brother, again, 2013 you're going you're going off of old, uh, old testament your old testament it doesn't matter your god's morality never gonna, changes it's not okay i'm going to i'm going to continue to your debunk god's your, morality I'm never gonna, changes listen, listen i'm going to continue to debunk your claims by telling what, you what of God. What claim? What claim? Well, be, can you be specific Romans about which 6, claim? Go to Romans six. I'm telling no, you to no, read be, it. You're be specific about which claim. I'm. Uh, you're, it's the word of God. You're, you're, you're trying to sit here and tell me that certain certain sins are immediate death and certain are not. I'm not. No, I, that's no. a question. That's a question. It's not no. a claim. Listen, listen. Not, I not, asked you. No. no, you said you're going to debunk my claims. Which claim? All the claims you're making right now regarding. No, you no give me. That, be specific. Which one? Which one? The one you're saying that. I'm a Let's start fan. with one. Let's start with one claim that you're going to debunk. Which okay. one is it? Okay. You saying that I'm I'm homophobic because I said God's decision to kill home gays back then at that time was unrighteous. It was was righteous. Yeah, that's, that, I was yeah. You are homophobic for saying I'm that. homophobic. I, I, first of all, I, lo I love gay people. That's one. So that's, that's then why do you then why do you think it's righteous for God to kill them? No, that's not. Listen to what I'm saying because it's His plan. It's a reason for it. But why I'm do you, to, if you, you love them? If you love them, Cog. If you love them, why do you think that it's righteous for God to command to kill because them? Because his plan and ways are true and perfect. And you don't love them. You don't love them. I, I do. How do I, you listen to how you're trying to point? If you're you to love them. Your voice against me. Listen to yourself right now. If you love you them, why do you think it's righteous for God to kill them? Hold on, okay, give, me, give me just a moment. Hold on, give me just a moment. Imagine saying that I love gay people. But I also think it's righteous for God to command that they be put to death. Imagine saying that, bro. Uh, because listen to what you're saying. You're trying. You're trying. Listen to, to what you're saying. No, <laughs> listen I'm to what you're to saying. saying. Listen. listen Here, here's, what here's what you did. Here's what you did. This is what you did. This is what you did. I love gay people, and it's righteous for God to command that they be put to death. Do you see that happening today? Yes, all the time. People kill see, gay people all the you time. See, you, 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 see, you, see, you see God commanding Christians putting gay people to death today. Yeah, is Jesus what God? What do you see? Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah, well, then Jesus commands it. Yeah. Where? Where do you see that at? In Leviticus 2013. I'm saying, where, where, do, you see, where do you see Jesus say that? 
in Leviticus 2013. Okay, but what I'm saying is, bro, what is, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. Is, is Jesus God? Is, is Jesus God? Jesus is God, yes, 100%. Is, yes. Is he, is he the God of the Old Testament? Yes, he's a guy. Yes. Well, then, in Leviticus 2013, yeah. in Leviticus 2013, Jesus commands that gay people be put to death. Bro, you're okay. So why do you keep living in old? Do, do you know why Jesus died for our sins? Let me ask you that question. Do you know why Jesus died for our sins? Because God wanted to sacrifice Himself to Himself in order for Him to be able to forgive Himself for the sins that He knew we were gonna we were gonna commit. No, no, that was the worst. You you use everybody. That was the worst like claim ever. Like, That's literally what happened. That's listen, literally what listen, happened. Listen, listen to what you're saying. You listen to what you're saying, bro. Listen, listen this, it's not going to be an argument because what you're saying right now sounds ludicrous because it doesn't make that's, any sense. That's literally what happened. That's not, that's not what happened at all. Let me so, okay. Let me let me, no, hold on. Let me tell you what happened, all right? And you and you can tell me if I'm wrong. Let me just, I'll make it like, I'm going to make it like 30 seconds, okay? Are you, are you listening? Yeah, as long as you're over here longer than an hour, you're good. You're fine. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to yeah, dude, like you, you need to go take a long look in the mirror, dude. Like this is what Christianity will do to you. This is what religion will do to you. Religion is toxic. Christianity is toxic, right? He's on here on a public platform. He literally said, I love gay people. And he also thinks that it's righteous for God to command that they be put to death. That is, that's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting in, in today's world. Like we should be better than that by now. And Christians always like to say, well, why are we being prosecuted, persecuted, right? Christians are always like, why are we being persecuted? Why are we being mocked? Why do people pick on us? Because of people like you, sir. Because of people like you. You're dangerous to society. You told me that if God convinced, if God revealed himself to you and told you to go and unalive babies, you would do it. Because those are God's enemies. You told me you would do that. I'm going to post the full live stream on my YouTube. Then you told me that you love gay people but you think it's righteous for God to command them to be put to death. You are dangerous, you are toxic, and this is why people don't like Christians. This is why people don't like Christianity. And if you guys wanna watch this full live stream, I'm posting all my streams on my YouTube. My, my link is in my bio. Just go to my profile and click the little YouTube button and uh, subscribe to my YouTube. Hello. What do you want? Uh, so, do you like Catholics? Because you say you can't stand Christians. Do you like Catholics? Catholics are Christian. Somewhat similar, but they got some differences. Now, can you change my mind that God's not merciful? Can I change your mind that God's not merciful? Uh, probably not, because you're going to believe what you're going to believe. So, you don't even want to try? You don't even want to try to defend your God? You're going to believe what you're going to believe. That's pretty sad. Why is your faith, why is your faith so weak? My faith ain't weak. There's just people going to believe in what they believe in. And, you know, it's like this. Ain't nobody going to change nobody's mind on here. Is your faith strong enough to try to de defend your God? Well, my faith's strong. Doesn't the Bible yeah, say, the Bible says be prepared. are weak-minded. The Bible says be prepared to defend God, right? Is I, well, yeah. But so like are, I said, you, you, can't, you, you can't defend something with weak, weak-minded people. Well, are you? Well, okay. If I'm so weak-minded, then you should be able to defeat my arguments, right? Well, I'm out here to testify, not debate. Well, this isn't church, sir. This isn't a a a, a, a testimonial booth. Okay. I'm here to testify about the good works of God and everything. He loved the world so much that oh, he... Oh, the good words of God? You mean like the good words where God commanded soldiers to capture young virgin girls and keep them for themselves? See, you're talking about stuff that happened over 3,000 years ago. It's still your God. Your God doesn't change. Your God never changes. Your God is the same yesterday, today, yeah. and tomorrow. Ah, so you know the Bible. I know the Bible better than you. Most, you know atheists, the Bible most atheists most atheists probably do know the Bible better than me so I don't read it every day. Of course I do. Of course I do. Book. Atheists know the Bible better than Christians because most most atheists used to be Christian and they actually read their Bible and they found out that it was trash. So what made you change? I was never like a, a, a full-on believer. I was I'm not one of those Christians that I'm not one of those atheists that used to be Christian. I just know the Bible. I don't know the whole Bible, but I've read it twice. You just I don't, said I don't yeah, know you know the whole, the whole Bible. I didn't say I know the whole Bible. I said I know it better than you do. 
Okay, but like I said, what made you uh, change your mind about what made you decide that it weren't for because you? Because in the Bible, God condones slavery. He advocates for murder. He advocates for genocide, infanticide. He advocates for graping, for graping young virgin girls. These are all things that are commanded by your God, and it's disgusting, and I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, but there is also good hard. things that you did. It's not that hard to walk away from something like that. But there's also good things that you did. So you're pointing out all the bad stuff that he did. There's also good things so, that he oh, did. Oh, so you oh, so you acknowledge that God does bad things? Society does bad things. So when so when God commanded That's his society, soldiers, bro. So when God commanded his soldiers to capture young virgin girls, was that a good thing? He had his reasons. Was that a good thing? Everything happens for a reason. And w were those reasons good? I don't know. Why don't you ask God that? Well, is God all good? You gotta ask Him. Is God is every command from God good and righteous? That's something you gotta ask Him. I'm asking you. I can't. I can't answer that. I can't answer that question. So you just blindly believe? You just blindly worship this little magic man in the sky? Magic man in the sky. So you believe in the Big Bang Theory? I'm assuming. You don't know what the Big Bang is. It's where everybody says something was made out of nothing. All of a sudden, there was a major like explosion. Like I said, like I said, you don't here. know. Like I said, you don't know what the Big Bang is. Yes, I do. What is it? It's pretty much an explosion that happened in the sky. You long don't know time the, ago. You don't millions, know what the Big Bang took is. Over millions and millions of years and everything. And that's how we were you, formed. You don't know what the Big Bang whatever. is. Whatever. You don't know me like that. What's and the I Big just Bang? I've been here for five seconds and everything, and you're asking me crazy questions. What's the Big Bang? I just told you, it's an explosion that happened in space, and that's how we're here. That's you, don't what know what the big, you don't know what the Big Bang okay, is. Okay, then you tell me what it is then. The Big Bang is just the expansion of the universe. That's all it is. It's not an explosion. It's just when the universe used to be a, a much hotter and denser state, and it has expanded, and it's still expanding. And as it's, as it's expanding, it's cooling and becoming less dense, and it's still happening right now. It's just the oh, expansion so of the universe. So you don't think there was an explosion like a lot of other people think there it's is? Not, it's, it's not an explosion. It's just the expansion of the universe. Like I said, you don't know what the Big Bang is. Okay, so why are we even talking about? Why are we even talking about then, the Big Bang? Okay, so then you're a little different than the other Big Bang theory. Why are we even talking about this? the Big Bang? I don't know, because everybody's got their different viewpoints why of did how you bring, the Earth got here. Why did you bring the Big Bang theory up? Well, because uh, it has everything to do with everything. You're the big bang theory of God. You're the or made made the earth. Did you One just say? Two. Did you just say the big bang theory of God? I said the big bang theory or God created the earth. One the big, or two. The big bang theory is has nothing to do with the creation of the earth or the universe. Then, what, does, then what has creation? We don't. We don't know if the universe has creation. We don't know. For all for all we know, the universe could have always existed. Okay, there you go right there. You don't know either. No one I knows. I never claim to know. That's exa you're exactly right. Nobody knows. So why do you pretend to know? I'm not pretending to know. I just got faith in God that he you have, exists. You have blind faith that God started the universe. If that's what you want to call it. Why do you think it's God? Why can't, why can't the universe have just always existed in some way? Because there's no way. What do you mean there's no way? How? There's how no, no way it could have just existed because how we're reformed. Oh, oh, well, then where did God come from? How were we formed? Where did where we how come was God from formed? Then? How was God formed? Then where, where did we come from? The answer my question. Where did, where did God come question. from? Where did God come from? Here is this there. Oh, and how you know if, it's okay, God's if, even if you can just say If you can just say that God was just there, then we can just say the universe was just there. Okay. Yes, if you want to believe that, okay, that's your. Which one of those two thing. things? Which one of those two things is, is actually observable? God or the universe? Like you said, we don't know. Which one of those two things is actually observable? God or the universe? God, because it's been proof. Oh, oh, give give us your proof of God. Give us the proof of God, because in because of history. Can you history in the making? Uh, okay, how do you believe in Egyptians? That Egyptians existed. Yes, sir. Egyptians still exist today. <laughs> okay, findings and architectural. Give us, give us some archaeological Architects. evidence of. Do you believe in dinosaurs? Us... Yes, dinosaurs existed. We have their fossils. <laughs> okay, 
There's proof right there, right? And it's just millions and millions of years ago, and they got proof of it, right? How does this? How does any of this prove God? This this actually disproves God. How does that disprove God? Okay, are you saying God created dinosaurs? He could have. Where's that at in the Bible? You never know. He could have. It doesn't speak in the Bible about dinosaurs, but it, he could have. Not this is not proof of God. Dinosaurs are not proof of God. <laughs> Fair enough. The Bible I really, says that I don't believe in dinosaurs. I believe in it. it's all made don't. up. Of course you don't believe. I in believe dinosaurs. it's made up. I, 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 of course you don't believe in dinosaurs. It does not shock me one bit, sir. Why you say that? I have my, I have my reasons. What's your reasons? Because you didn't know what the Big Bang was. You don't know what the Bible even says. And now you're going to tell me that you don't believe in dinosaurs of which the fossils and bones that we have in possession, we have their bones and you're going to just what deny that. You okay, you, well, you're denying, you're denying God, so why should I believe in your dinosaurs? I'm not, I'm not denying God. You don't God, believe in God, why, why should I believe I, in your dinosaurs? I, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that there is a God that exists. I'm not saying that God doesn't exist. I'm not saying that I can positively prove that a God doesn't exist. I'm saying I'm not convinced of any gods that exist. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's my. That's what my position is. And yes, there are different kind of gods because you got your Greek mythology gods and all that stuff. But what Greeks believe in, you got to get the God of Thor. You got the God of Water. You got the God of Earth. You got the God of Wind. All that stuff with Greek mythology. So there, yes, there are many, many different gods out there that people look at. You so got you, Buddha. Everybody thinks that Buddha is a god. So how do you know that? What 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 what, what um what method did you use to determine that your god is the one true god out of all the other gods out there? Like I said, how did the earth get here? What made the sun? That's what just made the universe? The question. What That's made just, the stars? All that stuff. What made all this? I, I how asked are you, you how, here. I asked you how do you know your god is the one true god out of History. the other gods? History. Can you I be more said it. History. There is proof. There is Can people that walked specific? along Jesus. There is people uh, that how marked do you know that? down how do you and wrote down How do you history. know that? How do you know that there was people that saw Jesus? We don't know. We just go by faith. How you know that Martin Luther King? Well, there's proof, right? We have, we have photos and videos of Martin Luther King, dude. Okay, then there you go. You telling me you got photos and you videos? Got, you got proof of you got proof of Jesus Christ's existence because of people in Scripture, people that wrote no, about no, him. No, 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 scri sir, sir. Scripture is not proof. The Bible is not proof. It's the claim. The Bible is the claim, not the proof, not the evidence. It's just the claim. The Bible makes the same claim that you make. Jesus, this is real. Jesus rose from the dead. That is just the claim that the Bible's making. That's not proof. So what method did you, did you what method did you use to determine and that how your you God? Use proof of the Big Bang then? We can observe it. We can actually see it. We can observe that galaxies and stars and planets are moving away from each other. We have telescopes. Okay. And what, whether or not the Big Bang is it, it is proven to be true or not has no bearing on whether your whether your specific God is real or not. Okay, like I said, that's where faith comes in. This guy believe. So you just blind, you just blindly believe. Belief. You just blindly believe something with no evidence. That you know, that's dishonest. That's very dishonest. There's a lot of evidence. Like I what? said, people walked with Jesus, and Jesus is from God. How do you know this? You have people that walked with Jesus. You got how people you, that hung out with you? Jesus. There's actually people that wrote. Do you believe in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? I just told you, you the Bible, Moses? sir. I just told you the Bible is not proof. It's the claim. The Bible is the claim. And it has been proof that he existed. What, what proof? All kinds of proof. Like what? Markings, signs, leavings. Okay, what markings? Through history. What markings? Israel. All kinds of different signs in Israel. How does, how does Israel prove Egypt, Jesus? Galilee. How do so you're just pointing to like things that we actually know exist on the earth and saying that that's proof of your God, your specific God, but that, yeah, well, doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. And how does all that be brought in the Bible then? How is all that brought up in the Bible? The Bible is just the claim about your God. It's not evidence or proof. But they talk about all these places. Yeah, and Sp and Spider Man talks about New York City. Is th does that mean Spider Man's real? 
You know, it's such thing as Spider Man. Well, you're saying you're yeah, saying it's... the Bible. You're saying the Bible talks about actual cities, so that proves you're God. The Spider Man comics talk about actual cities, so is that like Spider Man? And every and everybody pretty much has their own beliefs and has their own faith, has their own ways of thinking. Just like Catholics, just like Mormons, just like churches, science, science whatever the fuck it is. All right. Everybody's well, got their own beliefs. Before, Muslim. Do you believe in Muslim? Do, do you believe, believe in the great Muhammad? No. You don't believe in the great Muhammad? No. Now, before I let you... Lot before of I do believe in them. So what? I don't care. Before I let you go, can can I just ask you, is every command from God good and righteous? You said yes, right? Well, the commandments, yes. Like everything that God commands in the Bible. Everything, he does everything for his reason, for his glory. And are all those reasons good? He does it just like uh, the story about because pretty much uh, Abraham pretty much sacrificing his son or whatever, and he stopped him in the midst of it and told him to sacrifice the lamb instead. No, he told him to sacrifice a ram, not a lamb. But are all lamb, of your lamb, God same difference, same no. thing? He went to sacrifice his son because God told him to, and everything he went to do it and to obey God, and then God stopped him in the midst and said, "Go sacrifice a ram." Okay, that's great. Now listen. So everything that God commands in the Bible is good and righteous because God is all good, right? Yeah, he's all good and he's all knowing. He knows everything you're going to do and say before you say it. Would you always especially, follow? Especially with Job. He knew exactly what he was going to do before he did it. That's why he made a bet with Lucifer. Sit there and do what you got to do with Job. Would you always follow God's but commands? But you cannot unlive them. Would you always follow God's commands because they are good and righteous? Yes, I do follow God's commands. So if God commanded you to capture young virgin girls and keep them for yourselves, that's a command that you would follow? If he sat there and told me to do it, yeah. I wouldn't do anything with the virgin girls. Well, how would you know which girls were virgins or not? He would point the way. <laughs> Jesus okay. is the way, the sun, the truth, and the light. Okay, if God commanded you to unalive gay people, would you do it? He would have me do it. I started, and he'd probably tell me to sacrifice something else. You don't know that. I don't know that, but I would have faith that he knows what he's doing. Because in Leviticus 20:13, God commands that gay people be put to death. So is that a good and righteous command that you would follow? Gay people are gay people. I mean, if they they live their lives, they live their follow, lives. Would you follow that command to, to put them to death? I would not put them to death, no, because I don't believe in death like that. So why wouldn't you follow a good and righteous command from God? Why would you disobey God? Hey, why are you trying to ask me trick questions? It's not a trick question. I'm just asking why you would disobey a good and righteous command from God. Not, it, not everything that would come my way, I would not follow, no. So why would I you would disobey? I would tell God that, hey, you know what, I'm not going to do this. So, so if every command from God is good and righteous, why would you disobey a good and righteous command? Because uh, because uh, unaliving somebody, I am against it. Unless I really, really had to. Unless someone so, put me in a position so, where I had to unalive. So you disagree with your God when God commands that gay people? I didn't say it. that. Oh, so you agree? You agree with God's commands? I agree with His commands. I agree with what He does. He does everything for a reason. Okay, if you agree with His, we command, don't understand what His reasons are. No, we can't look into the future. Okay, no. if you. If you agree with God's commands and all his commands are good and righteous and you agree with him, why just like would you... he had slaves, just like he flooded the world, so, but he made a so promise not Jeremy, to flood the world again. Jeremy, if if all of God's commands are good and righteous and you agree with those commands, why would you disobey them? And just like to do it in the comments, uh, pretty much have to use your scripture as your sword. Yeah, I do agree with that. I'm also reading, trying why to read the comments as well. Why would you disobey a good and righteous command that you agree with? Why would you? Why would you, uh, sir? Sir, can you disobey answer anybody? Because okay, I I'll give you an example, right? Okay, say you're little, right? 
Your daddy told you to sit there and clean your room. You didn't clean your room. You didn't obey him. You get punished for it, right? Because you didn't obey your dad for cleaning your room. You get grand for two weeks. Okay. Why? Because you disobeyed him, right? Okay. Okay. Same thing. What? <laughs> oh, he got the TikTok kicked him off. <clears throat> TikTok kicked him off. Oh. Guys, we have to, we've lived next door to these people. These people, these people are our neighbors. These people are our coworkers. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, so first of all, I'm just gonna straight up apologize for the last guy. I'm a Christian and even I was cringing at some of the things he said. Um, but so I understand that you said God is not merciful and you said uh, Leviticus 2013. So did you read all of Levit Leviticus as well? No, I did not. Please provide the context for um, commanding gay people to be put to death. Okay, absolutely. So basically what Leviticus is saying is that you shall not act upon another man for another man. He's not saying put gay people to death. He's saying put the sin to death. So basically, no, no it we, says they must be put to death. Yes, it does say they must. You're be adding put. sin. You're adding the word sin. You're not supposed to add words to the Bible, sir. That's a that's a sin. That's a sin right there. Adding or changing the word of God. That's a sin. You, you read the beginning of Le Leviticus, right? Uh, it says if a man has sexual relations with another man, as with a woman, they have committed a terrible sin. They must be put to death. They are responsible for their own death. It doesn't say okay. put the sin to death. It says to put them to death. And in, tradition, right. in, in those traditional times, that would have meant to stone them to death. Absolutely right. You are correct. So why are, so you, why are you adding words to the Bible? That's a sin. You oh, shouldn't do oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Did you read all the way through, though? No, give me the context that that's, uh, justifies um, unaliving gay people. Go ahead. That's, that's not what the Bible is completely saying. So if you continue reading oh. through Leviticus and after that, it talks about how you should put the sin to death. Are you, are you saying that that this scripture does not say to put to put gay people to death? It does seem like it's saying that, but if oh, it's, you oh, it seems it, like it. <laughs> you, you're not you guys, the speak, mental man. the mental gymnastics the cherry picking is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. unbelievable. Like, why, why don't you just stand on your Bible? Why don't you just be a strong man of faith and say, you know what? That's what my Bible says. That's what my God commands, and I stand behind it. Why are why are you so? Why are you trying to like? change the word of god here I, i'm definitely not changing the word of god man you if you are. have uh, you said you read the bible right yeah i don't know the whole bible but i've read it twice no i'm not well there's you have a bad connection sir there's a bad connection have you you said you, there's like you read a, the eight, bible right there's like an eight second delay between us you're gonna have to fix your connection You're gonna have to fix your um, f fix your connection, fix your Wi-Fi. Or... Yeah, but there's a delay. I I, I kicked you like five seconds ago, and I can still hear you. So you're gonna have to come back up. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Uh, so I've been on it for a while. Mainly what I've picked up on what you're saying is if God is loving, why would he, you know, cause people, right? And that kind of the fundamental of it. No, I'm just saying God, I'm not convinced that God is merciful. I believe he is not merciful, um, but can you, you can ch try to change my mind. Right. So the best way that I've had it described to me, and I can see where some people will take it, some people won't, but so... I have a bank account, right? Everything I put in my bank account is mine. I can withdraw the money. I can put money into it. I can do whatever I want. It's fine. It's legal. If you went to my bank account somehow and took money out of it, that would be stealing. That's wrong. You would go to prison for that, right? So the way I was described is if you look at it like God 
or God's bank account, quote unquote, is the universe and everything in the universe. He can put life in the universe. He can take life out of the universe. But the moment that a man, another man takes life out of the universe, that's stealing, that's murder, that's wrong. That's a even, even if God commands it? Well, if God commands it, that's a different thing. So if I say, so, hey, so mom, it's not always, go, so it's not always if wrong. I say, hey, mom, can you go deposit this check for me into my bank account? Or can you take this out of my bank account? Whatever, you know, that would be illegal at that point because I gave permission there. Is it always Same. wrong to is it always wrong to murder babies? Uh, I would think so. Yeah. Even when God does it, I would not. Well, God is the the creator of the universe. I just so, said so that, it's not so. always wrong. It's not always wrong then. If it's God's will, it's God's will. So That's, it's not always wrong to murder babies. For if a man murders a child, yeah, it's wrong every time. So it's every not freaking always time. wrong. God, it's not always if wrong. If God takes life out of his universe, that's it's it's I not mean, always it's not always wrong for a man to murder a baby either, because if God commands it, it's not wrong, right? If it's God's commandment, it's God's will. That's yeah, so it's not, not always wrong. It's not in your worldview, it's not always wrong if a person murders a baby. If I mean, if it's him doing it himself, yeah, it's wrong. That's no, what I just no, said. But it's not always wrong for a person to murder a baby, because if God. When's the last time? When's the last time God told anybody, "Hey, go murder that child right there"? Well, lots of people have drowned their children because they think that God told them to, but we can't prove that, because right? They but think because they right. think that God told them to. Right. And, if but like, but, there, but we can look at the Bible. We can look at the Bible and, and see where God has commanded people to murder babies. In Old Testament, right? In Old yeah. Testament, right? Yeah, but your God's morality so never changes. Be, the Old so Testament, I'm, the Old right. Testament argument right. is irrelevant. That's irrelevant because your God's no, morality. I'm, I'm just saying. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't, I know it. It doesn't matter. But the Old Testament doesn't saying. matter. Old Testament does not. This matter. is what I'm saying. If I'm so I'm laying in my bed right now, right? If I had a thought pop into my mind and I swore up and down it was God and He said, "Go murder your mom right now" or whatever, I would not do it because that's in that's in my head, right? What if? But I was saying about God, the Old Testament. What if God what I'm revealed about himself? Hold on, hold on. Testament. What if God revealed Himself to you in a way that you were 100 percent certain that it was Him? He wouldn't do that. No, what if God revealed himself to you in a way that you were 100% certain it was him and commanded you to unalive a baby? You can't say that because he wanted to do that. God's already done that in the Bible. He's already commanded in soldiers. The Old Testament. That's what I was saying. But, in the Old God Testament. Does, absolutely. Sir, is your God the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow? Can I finish my sentence? Is your God the so, same? Is your God the same absolutely. yesterday, today, and tomorrow? Then I don't want to hear the Old Testament cop out. I don't want to hear the Old Testament I'm not, cop out. If you would hear me t just finish my yeah. sentence, you'll understand okay. what I'm okay, saying. Okay, I will. Okay, I will. I will. In but the I just Old wanna, I just, Testament. Okay, hold on. I will, but I just want to clarify something to you right now. Okay, your yeah, God's morality, your God's morality never changes. Whatever your His God morality thinks, never changes. Oh, right. Absolutely. Whatever your whatever your God thinks was morally permissible then is morally permissible now. It's, your your God absolutely. never changes. Your God's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So stop saying, "Well, that's the Old Testament. That's the Old Testament." That's your not God what I'm does saying. not change. Why did that's the words Why did the words "That's the Old Testament" come out of your mouth? I'm trying to tell you if you'll listen. Okay, I'm tell trying me. to tell you. Tell me. Here's the difference. In the Old Testament, God was on a burning bush. That was God. God saw Moses on the mountain and made the Ten Commandments. He physically, they physically saw God. God's not showing his face anymore, so you can't use that argument. Once Jesus came and died on the cross and resurrected again, it, it's, it was faith-based from that point to now. It's just all faith. God, just because God decided to play hide-and-seek doesn't mean that his morality changes. I'm not saying his morality changed. What I'm what saying is, your point? is, what, is your, that, what is your point in saying that God has now decided to play hide and seek? What's your point? My point is, is whenever you say, if right now God physically showed his face to you and said, go do this or this or that. I didn't say that. You can't say, I said, you if can't God, say that. I said, if God, I said, if God revealed himself to you in a way that you were 100% certain it was him and commanded you to, to unalive a baby, would you do it the same way that he did in 1 Samuel 15, 3, when he, when he revealed himself to Saul's army and commanded them to go into the neighboring Amalekites and unalive their infants? Would you do that? I didn't say God had to show his face to you. I said if he revealed himself to you in a way... Gate, 
at the end of the day, God's will be done. That's how I stand on it. You're not going to change my mind about that. So, so, so I guess my answer, to, I guess so my God, answer is, if God revealed himself to you in a way that you were 100% certain it was him and said, it is my will that you go and unalive a baby, you would do it because you would follow God's will. God's will be done. I mean, but the, the this, I mean, you're, the you're whole, a red flag. You are a red flag. You're dangerous. You are a dangerous really? person. Yes, really? you are a dangerous person. Really? Your neighbors really? are your so neighbors me, are in danger so you're, because so you're because saying, if God so revealed himself saying, to you, hold on, Lucas, if God revealed himself to you and commanded you to said and said, it's my will that you go into your neighbor's house and unalive their children the same way mm -hmm. that God commanded in first mm -hmm. Samuel 15, three, that they go into the neighboring Amalekites and unalive their children. That's a command that you would follow because God's will be done. You are a dangerous person. You are Two toxic. Points. Two points. When is that ever going to happen? It ain't. It's not going to happen. You don't. You can't possibly know that. You cannot possibly know that. I can possibly know that because How do you after know the that? resurrection, because after the resurrection, it's all faith based. He doesn't show his face unless it's I, I a didn't say God had to show his face. I didn't say God had to show his face. Show himself in a way I cannot. It's a hundred percent. He could just he could just speak to you. He could just speak to you in your head in a way that you were one in in in, in a way that you were one hundred percent certain that it was God, right? Because God could do that because He's all powerful. He could just speak to you in your brain and convince you and one make make sure that you one hundred percent knew that it was Him. And if He said to you, "It is my will, Lucas, that you go to your neighbors and they are my enemies. Your neighbors are my enemies. Go to your neighbors and unalive their infants. This is part of my will." I'm testing your faith, right? Mm -hmm. The same way that yeah. he commanded Saul's army to go to the neighboring Amalekites and unalive their yeah. babies. That is yeah. a command that you would follow because God's will be done. You know what God's greatest commandment is? Are you going to answer that question? Are you going to answer that question? I've already answered that question five times. You know what my, you're trying to put I try me to give you. I try to give you a way out. I try to give you a way. I try to get you to maybe take back what you said, but... Apparently, you're not going to take back what you said, and this is why I believe your your religion is toxic, sir. Your right, beliefs, so your beliefs are greatest, harmful. Your beliefs are, are the, harmful. What are what did God say His greatest two commandments were? You know, Lo since love, you know everything love, about all the laws, I, I didn't I didn't say I know everything about the Bible, but isn't the the first yeah. one is uh don't don't worship any other gods before me, and no, the second one is right. oh okay what is it? It's love your God. That's what one. I just said. <laughs> No, don't, you're saying don't have any other gods before me. That's not what. No, love your God says. and love your neighbors the same way that you would love yourself. Okay, so that's the greatest two commandments. Okay, but but every that, that's other from law, Jesus. Every that's from every Jesus. Other, no, no, it's Jesus not. That said that. Jesus said, "Love your neighbors." That is the Ten Commandments. Number one, love your God. Number two, love your neighbor as yourself. That's the, the, that's, that's the that. second commandment. That's the second commandment. Number one, love your God. Second commandment, love your neighbor as yourself. That, that is not the second commandment. What is it? It's not lo the first five commandments are all about God. The first five are all about w loving Him and worshiping Him. The and greatest him. two commandments. The greatest two commandments. What, Number one, verse, love your God. Number two, love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor is is a, is something from Jesus. It's not in That's the Old the Testament. Good. Love your neighbor okay. is from the New Testament. Okay, either either way, Jesus, God, Holy Trinity. It's right, they're right. all the same. And see, and this also still has no relevancy because if Jesus is God, then He's the God of the Old Testament. So I could just as easily say that Jesus commanded these these soldiers to go and unalive these babies, because Jesus is God, which means He's the God of the Old Testament. Whatever, Jesus, dude. All I'm going to say, all I'm going to say, is nobody's going to convince you otherwise. So you're going to you're going to you. run, run away. I'm not running away. I'm just pointing out facts. I was in the middle of saying something, and you're just like, whatever, dude. No one's going to convince you. Am I wrong? You're, you are wrong. At the end of the day, you you're here. You're, you're, you're just, it's not my fault day, that you're doing a shitty job of convincing me. You have done the quite opposite of convince me. You have convinced me that your religion is toxic and your beliefs are harmful and that you are a dangerous person. You are a danger to society the, because all it will take for you day. is to hear a little voice in your head. That you are certain what that it's I, God. Okay, what was my, what was my first point? If I heard a voice in my head to say go, go do this, I wouldn't do it. Obviously, you, I would yeah, not do would. it. Yeah, you would. You said, you said God's will be done. You said God's will be done. 
the first thing I said is if a voice popped into my head to go do this or that, I would not do it. That would be wrong. I, I asked you if God revealed himself to you in a way that you were 100% certain was him and told you and it was I his said, will and told you and it was I his said, will to unalive babies. You said God's will and be I done. Said God hasn't done that. And I said God Sir, hasn't God done has that. Done that. In first Samuel 15, three, God has commanded. Since, so, you're not listening to anything. I just, you, you, you're, you're sitting He hasn't there. done that since old Testament days. But you, but so there's, your there's argument no way, is relevant. As there is no way you can possibly know that God would never do that again. I do know that. How? How do you know that? <laughs> After the resurrection, it's all faith based. Yeah, it I understand. I understand your religion is faith. I, I understand not, you have blind belief. He's not going to show. How do you facts. know? How do you it's know God is not? Based. How do you know God would never command you to do that? How do you know this? There's a verse about it. I forgot the verse of it, but there's a verse. No miracle shall be done after this point. No, no miracle? Like, physical, visual. No physical, visual miracle. Like, I, nothing I, I never that's said God had to reveal him. I never, I never said God had to reveal himself to you physically or visibly. I said God, if God revealed himself to you way audibly, in a way that you were 100% certain that it was him. Audibly, and, whatever it is, that's still, that is still something that I can, oh my God, it's well, 100% real. It's, there's well, I no po more I post faith my full, because I know for a fact that he's real now. I post there's my full live streams. I post my full live streams on my YouTube, so you'll be able to go and watch it if you want to, and you can hear that's, what you said. You said that you would go cool. on a live babies. Really huh? That's cool. I really don't care. You're on here for views anyways, but that's whatever. Oh, you're, you're giving me the great views. You're giving me the great yeah. views right now. You have 213 so, so, people on here, but so, chill so out. Listen, so uh, listen, do us a favor. Do us a favor, and please stay away from your neighbor's kids, yeah. okay? And, and if you hear a yeah. God, if you hear a voice in your head telling you to, to do something about to children, please go seek help, okay? Seek medical help. <laughs> All right, bud. All right. Whatever. We'll find out one day. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's a cool. Christian. Whatever. There's a Christian love, right? Oh, you're you're going to find out one day. That That's code for... Okay, you'll find out when you're in hell. That's code for, okay, we'll see you in hell, right? That's code for that. Everybody, uh, keep spamming those likes, guys. I really appreciate you spamming the likes. And if you enjoy the content, please click the follow button. And everyone, please share the live right now with a couple of friends. And also, if you want to watch this full live stream and go back and hear Lucas say that he would unalive babies if God told him to. He also said that it's not always wrong to unalive a baby. It's not, it's not always wrong if a person does it. It's not always wrong. because If God does it, it's never wrong if God does it. And he would go over to his neighbor's house and unalive their children if God commanded him to. Because God's will be, God's will be done. God's will be done. So if you guys want to watch the full live streams, go and subscribe to my YouTube. Just click on my profile. The little YouTube button is there. It'll take you straight to my YouTube. Go check out the live streams and also you can subscribe too. Appreciate appreciate you all hanging out. Appreciate you all being here. Hello. Hello, how you doing? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I just wanted to read out Exodus 17, eight, real quick. The Amalekites came and attacked the Israelites at Rephidim. Moses said to Joshua, choose some of our men and go out to fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. It goes on to say in Exodus 17, um, here it is, 14. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it because I will completely blot out the name of Amalek from under heaven. Moses built an altar and called it, the Lord is my banner. He said, because hands were lifted up against the throne of the Lord, the Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. The Amalekites were evil people that despised the Lord's people. And if they were allowed to live, they would have destroyed all of the Israelites and God's people. The only reason this type of stuff doesn't happen nowadays is because could, Christ could, couldn't God couldn't God have commanded His soldiers that every God have, person deserved. Sir, couldn't God have commanded His soldiers to adopt the Amalekite babies into the nation of Israel? You could say that. 
Wouldn't that have been more merciful than chopping their heads off with swords? Eh, we all deserve that. But that's what Christ did. This, this, this is really sad. This is very sad that you believe that you deserve babies. You believe that babies deserve to have their heads chopped off. Eh, is I that did. your worldview, sir? Is that your worldview that you believe all babies should have their heads chopped off? That they deserve it? You believe that they deserve it? We all deserve it? All babies deserve to have their heads chopped off, sir? Is that your worldview? Where'd you go? I can't see you or, or hear you. All right, I don't know what happened. You, I, I guess he thought he was going to come up here and cook me with some scripture. I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess I can't bring up other things really now. Hello? Hello? The reason for calling. What a reason to be to apologize. Yeah. So why am I doing this kind of fun? Can you turn the TV off or the me? radio off? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, so... In what way do you see uh, Christianity being incompatible with the idea of a merciful God? Because the God character in the Bible is not merciful. He condones slavery. He advocates for murder, genocide, infanticide, uh, capturing young virgin girls as spoils of war, drowning babies, murdering babies. Um, I don't see that as being. I don't see that as being a merciful God. Sure. I mean, you have to look at it through the context of the people at the time and their worldview and their agendas and yada, yada, yada. Um, I think what really you have a problem with is a very clear cut, strict sort of fundamentalist reading of scripture, which is not something you can just in one file swoop dismiss all of Christianity on regards of. I, I don't think all Christians are bad. Um, I just think that if you hold to the belief that all God's commands are good and righteous, then I, I think that you, you that could present a problem, and I think that you could potentially be dangerous if you believe that all of God's commands are good and righteous. I believe that you potentially could be dangerous to society. Okay. Then I'm probably on the same page. I think that um, that anyone who just reads a text and just takes someone else's words as as if it's a book that literally dropped from God and God wrote it with his hands or something, then you're going to be in a bad situation and it can lead to, I mean, in the worst case, it could lead to, yeah, killing of innocent people, um, all of that. So. And and every single guest, right, every, <laughs> every, every single page. guest that I have tonight, every sing uh, there's a echo, every single guest that I have had, you're the first guest Every single guest that I've had tonight has clearly demonstrated to me, has clearly stated that they do believe every single command from God is good and righteous, and that God has his reasons, and his reasons are good, and God's will be done. Every single guest that I've had tonight. Um... <laughs> Jeremy, TikTok kicked you off, Jeremy. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Doing all right. Are you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'll... Ah, damn it. You keep uh, if you swipe if you swipe out of the app, we can't hear okay. you or see you. You gotta stay okay, in the one app. One second. Let me grab my iPad so I can read this real quick because I just wanted to read something real quick to a couple people. Are you a believer? I am. Okay. Give me one second. I'm pulling it up now. I had it all prepared and ready to go, and then my phone won't let me do it. So. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's it's just if you swipe up out of the app, we can't um hear you or see you. Yeah. Okay, so this is in reference to you talking about um you know the killing of the innocent kids, you know, with the plagues and all that stuff. It was in the Old Testament, right? Um, well. I don't know too much about that verse, but more specifically, 1 Samuel 15, 3, or when God flooded the earth, killing all the babies and, and children on the earth, and um, yeah. commanding that his soldiers capture young virgin girls as spoils of war. Um, I do. I am familiar with the, the ten plagues, right? And there was, I'm sure there was some children and, who were um, 
on a live you yeah. know, during those two, but I'm not, I'm not too familiar with those specific verses. So that specifically, and it'll make a good example. So, for example, the, God, the concept of God hardening Pharaoh's heart reflects Pharaoh's exercise of free will. Pharaoh chose to assert his own authority and resist God's commands, prompting God to allow him to persist in his obstinance. It's vital to remember that Pharaoh... So what, what is your argument? What is your... Uh, so the case? argument, this is trying to say that the free will of man cannot be corrupted by God because he gave us free will and he can't take that away or we wouldn't be able to love or we wouldn't be of course, of course god can take free will away he, he gave it to you so he could clearly take it away okay, he can but he chooses and not. is your god all powerful he is your god is all powerful so he could have created a universe where we all have free will but we never sin would be sinless and it would not inf it would not infringe on our free will we're free will and the free will wouldn't be free will without the does will god does can god freely make choices can god freely make choices yes but so he god so god will. has free will god, god has free will he can he can freely make choices can your god sin or is he sinless but if he took away your free will to or like sir, sin, you're sir. not just just try to just track to the argument here the argument um, the argument i'm presenting is that god can freely make choices so he has free will right okay. and your god is sinless he cannot sin correct it de depends on what you mean by sin god is your, holy your, God, so he can, cannot. yeah your god is sinless he it, it's not within his nature to sin yeah so your god is sinless he never chooses sin it's not within his nature to sin and he still has his free will intact he does not infringe on his free will so this all-powerful god could have created a universe where we all have free will and we are also sinless we never sin it would not infringe on our free will that is logic if it logic if it logically applies to god then it certainly logically applies to us too but it wouldn't be free will then because you well, then, just well then god doesn't god. have free will without choice then there's no free will and if you make so would you like to start over if you make somebody choose you then there's would you no like would you like to start over does god have free will it can go this that's called sleep make choices reasoning. you're you're going back and can forth god freely you're, you're, you're you've already conceded you've already could sir you you've already conceded the same thing over and over again that's what atheists do when they don't want to listen to sir somebody. You just got so cooked and now you're like rambling. I'm being you've already honest. conceded. You've already conceded that God has free will and cannot sin. That means that this all powerful God could have created a universe where we all have free will and we also don't sin. If that logic applies to God, if that if that's logically sound for God, then that surely logically applies to us. Because if it logically applies to God, the greatest conceivable being then it also logically applies to us so your free will argument is stupid i'm sorry <laughs> give me a second i'm thinking i'm just trying to understand your reasoning you don't am i not making sense is, does that argument not make sense i mean no it doesn't really make sense because okay let's try it again Let's, let's try it again. Maybe you'll get it. Maybe you'll get it the third time. God, okay, can, God can freely make choices, which means God has free will. And God never sins. He is sinless. It's not within his nature to sin because he's all good. He can never sin. He can never do evil. And it does not infringe on his free will. Right? Are we, are we clear on that? Mm -hmm. So that means that this all-powerful God could create a universe where we also never sin we're all good and we also still have free will we only choose good the same way god does it wouldn't make us like god right because we wouldn't be all powerful all knowing all loving we simply wouldn't have all the attributes of god we would just simply have the same logic that applies to god where we have free will god has free will he never does evil and sin, sin we also could have free will and never sin or do evil so that's why i'm saying you can't use free will as a cop out for why all these atrocities happen in the bible well the free will factor is on the earth though it's it's different there's a whole backstory that you're missing it doesn't matter where we're located at the logic still applies whether we're in whether we're on the moon or whether we're on earth the logic still applies so the choice to not choose god is what sin is 
Yeah, and yeah, and if God could have created a universe where we have free will and we always choose heaven, right? We always choose God. But if we always choose him, then he'd be forcing us to choose him, which is not free will. Well, th well, then would you like to start over? Maybe you would like to change your answer to no. When I ask you if God has free choices, can, can God freely choose? Does God have free will? Would you like to change your answer to no now? I guess so. I mean... You'd have to. You'd have to change yeah. your answer to no. Right? Which, which, which begs the next question. If God can't freely choose things, then he's not all-powerful. I mean, I guess that you would say it's because he want, he's a relational being, right? He wants relationships with us. So it's not saying that he doesn't have free will. It's just saying that he chooses not either, to... Either he has free will or he doesn't. Either he can freely choose things or he can't. And if he can't freely choose things, then he's not all powerful. So if he wanted to, he could make a square circle, you know? No, no. That's that's your your God is bound by the laws of logic. If if you're saying your God can be illogical, illogical things cannot exist. It's impossible. So if your God can do illogical things, then your God is illogical, which make would make him definitionally not real or not exi not not ex um wouldn't exist. So like splitting the Red Sea that's not that's not illogical that would i mean if god is all powerful that wouldn't i don't see why that would be illogical to do but god, god can't be a square and a circle at the same time he can't be a a married bachelor right no Listen i'm saying that he could probably make a square circle he can make the no that's not logically how can you be how can something be a square and a circle at the same time that's I'm not saying that he could make it a scientific fact because he's god he could just drop it in there and be like hey this is a square circle it's kind of like a square and a circle but, mixed together but the logic, but outside of our minds, outside of our our, our brains, I, I would think that the logic would it would still be illogical, like like depend like independent of our the brains, our minds as, as still our be illogical brain, as humans. Do but what? Who, but who, that's the, another thing. Like, who are we as human beings with our small minds to comprehend a being that great? Like well, 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 that 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 kind of like what you just said. Like we have small minds. Like, do you think that would you would you say that like we're complex? So that would kind of point to a designer, intelligent I'll say design. That we're complex, but I wouldn't say that we are as complex as God. I mean, he is. Would God. you say? He would you say that the? God. Would you say that the complexity of uh, us would point to an intelligent design? Say that one more time. Would you say that our complexity points to an intelligent design? Yes. And wh who's more complex, us or God? I would say God. So if complexity points to an intelligent design and God is even more complex than us, then who intellig intelligently designed God? We are created in the image of God. He is an eternal being. He has always been. But you just said complexity points to an intelligent design. So it, he intelligently designed us in his image. Yeah, and God's even more complex than us. So who, who, or what intelligently designed God? If if complexity if complexity points to an intelligent design, then if God is way more complex than us, then but you're not getting it though. He's not he's not limited. He's been since the beginning. He's the creator. He's the beginning. He's the end. That's it. But, but you said that com like things that are complex has an has an intelligent design here in the constraints so, of so everything that's complex has an intelligent design okay. except for god because god can do whatever he wants he's in a being so, <laughs> every, every, so everything that's complex has an intelligent design except for god how convenient yes that's because real. he existed before that's anything real. existed yeah. that's real convenient <laughs> yeah i mean that's what the bible says about it existed before before anything was created he existed okay and then i'll get back to your uh, whole free will argument but i need some time to kind of do some research on it but this is definitely fun look look uh, into the look into the omniscience free will uh contradiction omni okay let me tap that down. like omniscient omniscience free will just look up there's all the entire like discussion it's a it's a we could have you could have an entire debate or discussion about just that on its own okay omniscient free will got it yeah well actually no what am i saying that's no that's not that's a completely different thing um what is that i guess it, that would actually be the problem of evil argument the, the problem of evil argument like why is there evil because free will well if god has free will he never does evil then he could make us with free will and we never do evil the omniscience free will is a whole nother thing i don't know why i said that but i guess you would have to look into the problem of evil okay 
So I'll, I'll get back with you. I'll, I'll follow you on here, and we'll, we'll get back on that topic. All right. Good point. I need some research time. Okay. All right. Well, it was good talking right. with you. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the discussion, too. Thanks thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Mm, have fun. All right. All right. I'm going to take one more guess, guys, and then I got I got to get going because I got to get up at 4 in the morning. <clears throat> Guys, if you've enjoyed this content, please click the follow button and also go subscribe to my YouTube. All of my, I'm posting all my live streams on my YouTube. So just click the YouTube link in my profile and follow me here if you enjoy the content. Okay, good night. All right, good night. Yeah, so um, you're saying about the, the free will, right? With God? Yeah, the, we're like if we have, like if God has free will, but he never does evil, right? He, well, uh, I don't know if he was doing any evil, but he did create. He did create evil. If you if you believe God created evil, then God is not all good. Why is he not all good? Because he created because, evil. Because an all good, all loving being, it would would not be within its nature to create evil. That's that's um, that would contradict all being all good. An all good being, it would not be within its nature to do evil, create evil wouldn't even be able to be in the presence of evil and all good all loving god would not be able to create evil uh, but if but if if he had already created good and the good turned to evil that wouldn't be um, on his side are you saying god created good and that it turned into evil without him knowing no i'm not saying he didn't know are you saying, saying it turned into it, are you saying it wasn't his intention for e good to turn into evil not, no 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 i'm not saying it wasn't his intention and i'm not saying it was his intention but i'm saying that he created good just just like just like okay you know a father or, or a mother would create a child it was it was his plan it was his, it, wait, 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 wait. No, just wait, just wait. a father and a mother would create a child right but they but they we didn't want we didn't want child to be bad but the child end up being bad. So the parents right. failed. So the parents failed. Yeah, yeah. I, I would so are you saying failed. God failed? God failed? No, I'm not saying that God failed. God has a reason why he do what he do. So it's God's plan for the good to turn into evil. Could be possible. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. Okay, so, so you're saying it was God's plan that good turned into evil. Okay. I'm not saying it was God's plan because I can't know what God did. What are you, what are you saying? I, I'm no, confused well, now. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying he do what he do. So neither, neither you or I can comprehend what he done. So if, if we're going to like sit here and talk That's, about it. What's your, what is your argument? Because if you're just going to come on here and say, you can't comprehend God, I don't know wh where this is going to go. Where, no, what, I, what I'm saying, all right. So you're saying that um, he's not all uh, merciful, right? And you're, you're, you're giving a talk about um, what he did, right? As in to, 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 to our free will, right? But I believe in free will, right? But if we're going to talk about God on a different level, then I would say that we, would, we won't understand the level of God. Just like when we are in this world, and there's a lot of things that um, is being happening here in this world, and we still can't understand it. So why why are we going to understand the um, things of God? Uh, I'm so lost, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, do you believe that God is merciful? I, if I believe if He's merciful, uh, yeah, I, I believe he's, he's, he's merciful, and I believe He also do what He wants to do. So why why would God is it merciful for God to command that babies be unalived? Well, again, is it is it merciful when God commanded that soldiers chop off babies' heads? No, it's not being merciful, but that doesn't mean he's not merciful. What? If you get what I'm saying, I'm saying I'm saying that that question that you asked, I'm not saying it's not merciful. But I'm not saying that he's that, not I, merciful. I agree. I agree. It's not merciful. That's why I don't think no, God is merciful. No, I'm, I, no, it's not merciful. But at the same time, he is merciful. That you're, That's a contradiction. Why? Because, because, because he can't be merciful at the same time as being merciful? So you're saying, you're saying that when God commanded Saul's army to ch unalive babies, that that was not merciful and merciful at the same time? 
No. I'm saying at that time, it. I'm not. I, I will. I don't know what God did at that time. I, I won't say I even know what He did. But he he ordered Saul's God. army. He ordered right. Saul's army to go and unalive the Amalekite infants and babies. Right. Is that merciful? Was that a merciful thing? That's not a merciful thing. Yeah, I agree. God's not merciful. No, but you're saying, but you're saying, because of that, because of that incident, you're saying that he's not merciful. That's correct, what correct. Saying. God also allows slavery. He condone, He advocates for murder. He advocates for genocide, infanticide. Okay. He He commands so, that little young virgin girls be captured as spoils of war. Those are all unmerciful things. God is not merciful. Okay, so what's the definition of merciful? Uh, like having sympathy or showing pity to something I, I'm so, not sure so, so 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 are you merciful um, I'd like to think so yeah all right so do you think um, as a human being we are we are all merciful every time no right so he can be merciful and he don't have to be merciful at times no god does things that i think he has, has has convinced me that he is not merciful like a merciful god would not command that you chop off a woman's hand for defending her husband in a fight a merciful god would not command that you capture young virgin girls and, and keep them as spoils of war a merciful okay. god would not condone slavery a merciful god would not drown the world and and and, and drown babies a merciful God would not command that you go and chop off babies' heads. A, a, a merciful God would not command that gay people be put to death in Leviticus 20.13. None of these things convince me that God is merciful. In fact, the opposite. They all, they, all of those things convince me that God has no mercy. So, all right. So you're saying that he doesn't have mercy at no form or time. I don't believe so. Come on. Do you do you do you read um? So you all right? So you know what you you're, you're talking about. You're you're basically talking about the Old Testament, right? But yes, not, but you're let me stop sure. you there. Let me stop you there. Is Jesus okay. God? Is Jesus God? God in flesh. Yeah. So Jesus is not merciful. Well, why is he not? Because Jesus is God, the the God of the Old Testament. Did he say that he was the God of the Old Testament? You said Jesus was God, so that means Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's definitely the God of the Old Testament. Yeah, so Jesus is not merciful. If Jesus is the God of the Old Testament, then Jesus advocates for slavery. Jesus advocates for putting gay people to death. Jesus advocates for chopping off women's hands for defending their husbands well, during a fight. Well, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus commanded Saul's army to go on alive babies. If Jesus is no, the God of the Old Testament, then Jesus is not merciful. No, but what you have to understand is that Jesus is from God. Yeah, so Jesus is not merciful. Yeah, Jesus is merciful. No, Jesus Jesus advocates for slavery. Jesus advocates for murder. Jesus advocates okay. for chopping off. So, so, so you're referring to the Old Testament, and I am, I am, I am referring to the New Testament. Was, was Jesus was Jesus always a part of God? Should be. I should think so. I'm not sure. If Jesus, I was, I was. if Jesus was always a part of God, the God of the Old Testament, then Jesus is not merciful. Neither is God. They're both the same, right? I guess so. I won't say I, that part. That part, I, I definitely don't know. I won't say I know something when I don't know. That's fair. I mean, that's that's honest. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of Christians would come up and say, "Oh, they know this and they know that," but um, when you don't know something, you just don't know it. And that's perfectly I'm not, fine. I'm, I'm, I, I'm I have no shame in saying I don't know as well. I I, I think yeah. I think saying I don't know is is you, I don't think you can get more honest than saying I don't know. I say yeah. I don't know all the time. So, yeah, and I, I, yeah, and I don't. I definitely don't want to put myself in in something that I really don't know, because a lot of these people would come up and they would say, "Oh yeah, he's, he's got our," you know. But I don't want to put myself there, and that is the reason why I, I understand. That. I understand that. Yeah, that is the reason why I mentioned that um, you have the Old Testament and you have the New Testament. But what I do believe, I do believe God um, move move on. Like he, he, he literally transcends from generation to generation. Because if you notice in the Old Testament, he would, he would tell you to, to, to offer sacrifice of blood. But in the New Testament, that, that, that's literally done away with. 
Right, but your God, your God's morality never changes. Your God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Your God, whatever your God thinks is morally permissible back then, is also still morally permissible now. So that's irrelevant to me that it's Old Testament, New Testament. God is the same always. He never changes. His morality never changes. He's the objective standard for morality, right? So I don't care that it's the Old Testament or that you know that we, that you used to sacrifice animals back then because your God at one point do, did all of the all of the horrible atrocities that I mentioned that God did. He did it, and he would still do it today because God never changes. So I I am not convinced that God is merciful based on his behavior in the Bible. The God character of the Bible, you see him as the hero. I see the God character of the Bible as the villain. I think, I, I won't say you don't have a, have, have a fax there, because fax is fax. That's yeah, what, what you just said. That, that, I'm, I'm saying that what you said, um, that was just fax. You, 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 you think it's a fact that God is the villain? No, I'm saying what you just said overall of what? Um, according to the, the scriptures, if oh, yeah. literally God, instead, God, yes, God commanded all of those things. He, 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 he condoned slavery. He gave very specific rules and instructions and regulations to the Israelites on how to practice slavery. He absolutely failed to condemn slavery. God but, orders, but, but, God but orders, saying, yeah, but God orders saying, his soldiers to unalive innocent babies. God orders, saying, orders his soldiers right? to. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, what I'm saying, right? When you when you're reading the scriptures, you have you have, we have to know when um, the God of the Bible is talking from when the persons that are writing the Bible. Well, Second Timothy three sixteen says all scripture is the truth inspired by God. <laughs> but my belief is kind of different. Okay. Because I, I, to me, I believe that the Bible. Is I would, I would call that cherry picking. I would call that cherry picking. No, no, I would, no, 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 no. All right. All I would right, say so you so. would point to a verse. You would point to a verse where God is all good and lovey dovey, and you would say that's true. But then, when there are verses where God does evil, wicked things, you would say that's added by man. That is not God. No, 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 no. no. I, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Right? Yes, yes, yes. I, I do a, I do a lot of the cherry picking, but according to my experience and my knowledge. And my my uh, my uh, my researches. So I, I I I literally I literally try to pick out what I think what I think is correct, not what I know is correct. Because we in this world we don't we don't know everything or whatever we know we don't know what is right. Right. So I okay. try to I try to 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 understand stuff based on my experience and my my um my knowledge. Um, and my, 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 um, uh, whatever I know. Okay. Right. So, so, so is there, did you have one last thing you'd like to say, or do you have any questions? Uh, I, I, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue this. I'm going to follow you. All right. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. I, I enjoyed talking with you and thank you for, um, coming okay, up here. Thanks. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So I guess that's going to be it for the night. Um, I have to get up at four in the morning. So I really appreciate you all being here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the live stream, uh, click the follow button. Um, subscribe to my YouTube if you want to watch my full live streams. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. This this was a good live. This was a fun, fun live. So um, when I'm on my days off, I, I can go live for a lot longer than an hour. Um, um, I love you guys too. I love all you guys for saying all you guys saying love you. I love you too. Um, when I'm on my days off, I go live for a lot longer. But I'm I'm currently working. I'm on my work schedule right now, so um, I only go live for like an hour, an hour and a half or so. So appreciate you too, Ford Bronco. Appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. You're good people. Thanks, Ref. Thank you. Nobody's saying they love you because your heart is bitter. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out. I, th I really appreciate you. I think Justin, you guys know Deconstruction Zone, Justin? 
You guys want to do a skits raid on him, like, right now? So everybody here who follows Deconstruction Zone Justin, or if you want to go follow Deconstruction Zone Justin, he should be live right now. So let's all hop over there right now and say skits, skits and bits love, uh, skits and bits raid. Everybody hop over on Deconstruction Zone Justin and say skits and bits raid. All right, guys, let's go. Skits and bits raid. See you all next time.